In this video, we're going to take a look at the D average function. It's one of the database functions in Excel. And we already have some data here that we acquired um, in the video on the D sum function. Uh, this just came from Excel help. So um, if you want to get this data, take a quick look at the first part of the D sum video and it'll tell you how to get it. So what we have here is we have a database table with column headings that I've already given a name to. I call it table. And we've got a criteria range up here that we use to specify which records we want. So before we start here, uh, let's take a look at the plain old average function first. Okay, uh, The average function will just give you the average of a range of numbers. It's on the home tab. And if I go to the auto sum button over here and choose average, it'll look for the nearest numbers. And I put this under the profit column so it does select the right numbers, but it also selects all this blank space here. So let's just... Um, change the selection here and that will give us the average of all of the numbers in this column so the average profit per tree was eighty four dollars sometimes you want information a little more specific than that you may want the average profit for apple trees okay and let's go in there and let's uh, change the alignment on that okay and now let's do the dsum function. Let's go to our formulas tab. And again, uh, there is no group here. There's no little book for the database functions. So you have to go to the insert function button over here. And it says select a category. And there is a category called database here. And I want the d average function. Click on OK. And the database is this data right here and notice it puts the word table in because that's what I've named this this data here and the field is uh, the fifth column or the profit column and the criteria if I just want apple trees is just this little part of my criteria range up here so if tree has the word apple in it then it's going to take that number and be used in the average and let's click on OK here and uh, let's take a look at our apple trees there's one there's another there's another and if I select them here, down here, it'll tell me what the sum and the count and the average are. And the average is 75. And that's exactly what I get. Okay. Let's try another one. Uh, this time, we're going to use the rest of our criteria range on the apple row here to get the average of apple trees that are between 10 and 16 feet tall. So go to the insert function, choose the average, click on OK. Uh, the database is our table here. Uh, the field is the profit column and the criteria is all of these things so drag the mouse over all of that click on OK now there's only one apple tree there that is greater than 10 and less than 16 in height and it's this one right here and it's 75 so obviously the average of a single number is going to be that number and there's a little more data up here there's the uh, value pair in the tree column so if I want the average for apple trees that are between 10 and 16 feet tall or pear trees uh, I'm basically asking for the average of this row and this row and this row so it's as if the word or connected row 2 with row 3 up here so if the first row is true or the second row is true I will use those numbers in my average and if we go here and just click on them and look down here it says 83 is what the average is so let's go down here and give it a try. Let's go to insert function, D average. The database is table. I can just type it in instead of dragging the mouse. The field is the fifth column or the profit column. And the criteria is all of this stuff right here. Click on OK. And uh, if I round this off, I'll get $83. It uh, rounded it off down here and uh, let's go back here and let's at least reformat that we don't have to round it necessarily but um, display it with two decimal places so eighty two dollars and sixty seven cents and that's how the d average function works in excel 2013